Hey team, Brown Coat from Corrie Cottage, and we're having a bit of a look at Wolfenstein Youngblood, and I'm going to put it right at the top. This fucking game has some issues, but I'll dig into that in a wee bit. Remember, give us a like or a subscribe if you dig the stuff, and also I'll just give a wee brief what we're going to do for video game reviews uh, going forward, is I'm going to pare down the video content to about a five minute rundown, and then if you want to know more, jump over to CorrieCottage.com. Righto, let's go. Okay, so Youngblood is a different Nazi killing beast than the games that have come before. It's a 1980s synth pop kind of feel to it with the heavy Nazi influence, just like all the Wolfenstein games, but it is co-op. It is a first-person shooter with a leveling system, has hub worlds uh, that lead to three main raid missions at the end of each hub world. And it has got some really good elements to it. We all like punching Nazis in the face, so that's cool. Youngblood has the shooting and the weapons from Wolfenstein, and it still feels awesome. The level design definitely has a strong whiff of Arcane Studios, uh, with their dishonored sort of idea of, of multiple pathways through levels, and also the Arcane kind of um, RPG skill trees and things like that. So that's good. But that's kind of where the good stops and the bad and the ugly begins. Now the bad side of things, let's dig into that next. Okay, so the bad. Now, to start with, the unlikable characters. The two sisters, they could have been two brothers, I don't care. They're just badly acted, they're badly scripted, and I don't care about them at all. Especially after all the work that went in to make BJ and his surrounding cast so interesting in the previous games. This is just soulless. I don't care about them at all. And they're actually just dicks, to be honest. <laughs> I didn't like them at all. Then you have the repetition that's involved. So once you open up a hub world, you actually have to run through that hub world multiple times to get XP completing mindless missions that you've picked up from quest givers back at your home base. And I don't even know what half of those missions were that I completed. They just ran to the marker, shot everyone on the way. And you end up blitzkrieging through these like a destiny strike because you know them so well by the end of it. There's no fun involved. You just go, oh, okay, so I've got to run there again. Run there and only you shoot the people that get in your way. Everything else is just superlative. <laughs> This is a co-op game. It was designed to be co-op. It's very, very clear that that's the case. Because you can't even pause the fucking thing. If your wife or your kids or something comes into the room, need to talk to you, hit pause. No, no, no. The game continues. I mean, come on, people. But anyway, the co-op doesn't work. You can't match make to anyone reliably. I had a friend with the game, tried to tear it up so we could play together, worked once out of multiple attempts over multiple days. And then you end up playing this game as a solo experience, which is, it has not been tuned to be a solo experience. So your AI companion, who should be human, is not, is hopeless. You die, it doesn't pick you up. It dies, it uses up your shared lives. And then, even if you do manage to get it all the way to the end of a raid or end of a large hub world mission, you die... No, you don't just spawn where you died. You spawn right back at the start with all the ammo missing that you've used through the course of that level. Like, it's just infuriating, so unhelpful and so unfriendly. The final boss fight is a nightmare. You can't even beat it by yourself. You have to find someone to play with you. And that took me two days to try and get the matchmaking to work with a random just so I could attack that boss properly because you've got to shoot him in the back and you can't do it because he's focused on you the whole time. I mean, come on. It was just such a missed opportunity to create something unique in this game space of Wolfenstein, which is a cool idea, cool aesthetic, but no, they made it a soulless experience with bullet spongy enemies and so focused on co-op that single player, which I'm gonna put it out there, I would say most people will probably buy this as a single player experience and we'll just be bitterly disappointed. The few of us who get re reliable co-op out of it, great, good for them, but I think they're gonna be in the minority. Look, to sum it up, it's 
cool because it's a Wolfenstein experience, but it's bad because all the other shit around it doesn't work. It's cheap now because it's a side package. It's going to be even cheaper in the future because no one's going to like it very much. If you really want it, wait until it gets a big price cut. All right, that's enough from me. Hopefully that's a help. Thanks very much. Bye.